evening, everybody. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Khalid Al Malki, for his, this invi invitation. Um, I'm going to talk today about my experience uh, with Ferrara Ring. Uh, when I knew that I would be the, the last one, I was sure that uh, my eminent colleagues will dissect the Karatekonis and different types of rings, which are all magnificent in their effect. Um, the idea is based, as everybody knows, uh, on Barraker's thickness law that for myopia correction, remove tissue of the center of the cornea, add tissue to the periphery of the cornea. For hyperopia correction, add tissue to the center of the cornea, remove tissue from the periphery of the cornea. And for uh, Blavatskaya's law, the larger diameter the ring, the lesser the correction, the thicker the ring, the greater the correction. Uh, here we display that uh, the sizes of the rings that are uh, for five millimeters, six millimeters, seven, uh, seven millimeters, as Dr. Bassam uh, showed before. The Ferrara ring characteristics, um, the material is PMMA, yellow filter, uh, apical diameter, five millimeter, triangular cross section for prismatic effect, hole in each extremity, flat basis with uh, 0.6 millimeter variable arc length. Uh, here we can see that the base, the 0.6 millimeter and uh, the triangle, the thickness of uh, the seg different types of, uh, of, of segments, and the var variable arc length. We have the 70 till 210. How the furring works? Initially, Barakar and uh, Blavatskaya postulates that addition in the corneal periphery uh, equal corneal flattening. Ring diameter uh, equal how much the cornea will be flattened. The more tissue is added, increasing ring thickness, and the smaller the diameter, the greater will be the myopia correction obtained. The asphericity or the Q value, uh, the corneal asphericity, the corneal shape, we have the oblate or prolate, the normal is mild prolate, keratoconus hy hyperprolate cornea, normal Q value is minus uh, 0.23. For usually the 140 arc is, is used in PMD, the Q is equal to zero or positive, the low Q values or high astigmatism. The 160 arc equal 90% of, in, is used in 90% of keratoconus, standard ring, the Q negative prolate or hy hyperprolate cornea, average of uh, high uh, K values, average to high astigmatism. 210 arc is the nipple keratoconus. The indications, corneal irregularities, primary keratoconus and pellucid marginal degeneration, or surgical as PKP, PRK, LASIK, RK, trauma, which, and the refractive. Indications, given a case of keratoconus, when to indicate unsatisfactory corrected visual acuity with glasses and or contact lens. Progressive intolerance to contact lenses, clinical and topographical evidence of disease evolution. The contraindications, very advanced keratoconus with uh, curvatures over 60 diopters and significant apical opacity and scarring hydrops, thin corneas with thickness below 300 micron in uh, the ring track. For our ring nomogram, evolution of the nomogram, the first generation was the, karato the keratoconus grade, the second spherical equivalent, and the third generation was topographic astigmatism, and the last one is according to the asphericity or the Q value. Asphericity concept related to the shape of the cornea, normal cornea, mild prolate, range, oblate, hyperopes, hyperopes, post myopic ablation to prolate, myopes, and keratoconus. Q values, as we, we said, uh, minus, uh, uh, minus 0 0.23. The nomogram types of keratoconus, the, the nipple and the ovale, as shown in the topographies. Oval cones, 
of the corneal aspheristi, the selected ring for implantation may induce aspheristi changes with a final result close to normal values, minus, which is minus 0 0.23. The ovale cones, the KM average, there is a linear correlation between uh, the Q value and the KM. Therefore, if the Q value is not available, the KM can be used. Here, the, asphyrist, uh, the Q uh, aspheristi variation according to the ring thickness. Uh, we, can, we can see, the, for example, here, for the 150 is used, for example, in uh, less than uh, 0 0.23, and it increases gradually until it reaches the two segment, the one segment, then the two segments uh, in uh, the uh, uh, Q value uh, minus one. Valid for all maps, the segments or pa pair of segments should not get lower than the expected postoperative corneal aspheristi, Q significantly below minus 0 0.23. If it happens, so it is advisable to choose a pair of segments that fits the condition even if the achieved keratometric correction is smaller than the desired one. In the nipple, we always use the 210 ring. The nomogram of the pellucid marginal degeneration, we use also the 140 ring according to the Q, if the Q is uh, zero or positive, oblate cornea, or in topographic astigmatism up to four diopters, we use the 150 micron, uh, and four to, uh, uh, four to minus eight diopter, the 200, and more than eight, 250 micron. The thickest segment of a pair of segments cannot exceed half thickness of the cornea in its bed. If this happens, so to the ring. To the surgical technique, the extrusion, the infection, the bed centration of the segment, migration, rotation, uh, misplacement or asymmetry of the segment. We can see here the tip of the uh, segment coming out of the anterior surface of the cornea. And here the infection, we can uh, see the inflammatory reaction around the segment. This is the migration. It migrated and it crossed the site of the incision, the asymmetry of the segment. Everybody thinks that the femtosecond, with the femtosecond, the, the asymmetry of the segments cannot occur. No, it occurs sometimes when the patient squeezes his eyes forcibly and the, uh, the cup, the suction cup, slides a little bit downward during the, the laser, when the laser is functioning. And when it happened, uh, we, we, can, we can see that the ring made by the laser can be uh, slightly ovale, and w uh, it doesn't appear immediately, but when we put the, the segments, we will notice that they are not uh, symmetric also. It happened with me twice, but one of them I was lucky, and I, uh, I was planning to put just one segment. In the other one, I had to put two segments, so it was quite obvious that they are not Symmetrical. Wrong placement of the ring. Related to the uh, complications related to nomogram, overcorrection or undercorrection. Here, the, regarding the overcorrection, preoperative pentacam of keratoconus patient, it was planned to implant two intraconial ring segments, 250 micron, uh, 160 arc temporally, and 200 micron 160 arc nasally. The post-operative intercam of the patient after intracorneal ring segment implantation, there is overcorrection with significant nasal corneal flattening. Uh, the follow-up uh, was at least one year for all of the patient. The study included 16 eyes of 15 patients, 11 males and 5 females. Average age uh, uh, was 23 years. Average uh, pre-op K, 48.95. The Q value pre-op was minus 0 0.56, uncorrected visual acuity was, uh, average was 2080, and best corrected 2040. Post-operative, K reading 47.25, uh, Q value minus 0 0.38, uncorrected visual acuity 2040, 
best corrected 2028. Three patients gained one line of uncorrected visual acuity, five gained two lines, uh, five others gained three lines, and two gained zero line, and one lost one line of uncorrected visual acuity. For best correct visual acuity, three gained zero line, four gained one line, three gained two lines, three gained three lines, one gained four lines, and two gained seven lines. Conclusion, easy procedure, to topical anesthesia, quick recovery, reversible and re uh, uh, readjustable, do not interfere with PKP, improves contact lens tolerance, independent of tissue donations, low rate of complications, improves uncorrected visual acuity and best corrected visual acuity, reduces ocular aberrations, delays or stops uh, cones evolution, high level of patient satisfaction. The surgical technique is safe and uh, reproducible. The technique has long lasting effect. There is stabilization of the disease after Ferrara ring implantation. Major disadvantage, no one can estimate the post-operative vision. And always the patient is asking, can you tell me how will be my vision after the, uh, after the surgery? That's the main problem with the patient that you tell him, just tell him, I can't. Uh, most probably you will improve. Uh, maybe uh, your uncorrected visual acuity will not improve, but the best corrected will improve. That's the problem usually with the patient. Thank you.